Hi-Fi Man is a headphone brand in the audiophile community, but it's not well known to normal consumers, and for good reason. Most of their headphones are planar magnetic, which is codenamed for expensive and almost impossible to drive without a headphone amplifier. Now, Hi-Fi Man up until now hasn't really made headphones that you'd plug straight into your phone. At least, not until now. A few months ago, they released the new HE400S, and at $299, they're not only the least expensive, but also the most efficient planar magnetic headphones ever made. And guess what? They sound killer. The HE400S are open back headphones, so naturally they carry the same virtues and vices as all open back cans. If you don't know the difference between open back and closed back headphones, I made a video a while back that you should watch. It's linked in the card above. Now, I personally think that these headphones look stunning, and with a nearly all plastic construction, they have the advantage of being super light without feeling cheap. The only metal found on the outside of the headphones is the pretty black grill that covers the drivers, and of course, the excellent, excellent, excellent headband. Hi-Fi Man is one of the few companies that makes suspended headbands directly from the factory. Now, why are suspended headbands good? Well, they distribute weight much more easily, they fit many more people's heads, and they require less frequent adjustment. Now, the HE400S's lightweight, along with the excellent headband, make these some of the comfiest headphones I've ever used. I mean, I could wear them basically forever without any discomfort. One caveat to this is the stock ear pads, which are velour, not leather. And honestly, I didn't like them. They were too firm, they felt misshapen, and they quickly got uncomfortably hot. So I've since replaced the stock pads with upgraded focus pads that are a hybrid velour leather combo that I love. Now the focus pads cost an extra 40 bucks from Hi-Fi Man, which is a lot, but they also sell leather pads for $20 if you can't stand the stock velour ones. A lot of people won't care, but I really didn't like them. Now the cable is a mixed bag for me. It's one and a half meters long, it's braided, and it's removable. And it, it's a gorgeous cable, but that said, it's very rigid and it's not very flexible. Which is a little problematic because when it's in your pocket, the cable just does whatever it wants, which is curl up. It's not the end of the world, but it is something that I wish weren't the way that it were. It just, the cable shouldn't be an issue. Luckily it's removable, so if you really did hate it that bad, you could replace it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's worth mentioning. All right, Quinn, enough about the looks. How do these things sound? Now, like I mentioned previously, the HE400S sounds superb plugged directly into a smartphone or laptop. By the way, if you're digging that Ultimate Extinction Justin Maller skin, you can get one just like it for any device you own at slickwraps.com, and there's a link below if you're interested. But like any headphone, the HE400S do benefit from desktop amplification by becoming wider uh, in terms of soundstage, they're tighter. But that said, it's totally possible to get really great sound without a fancy amplifier. I love the way these headphones sound. They are undeniably warm with crazy smooth front and center mids. And this means, in short, that female and male vocalists are just crazy lush and well presented. And with that, there is a nice tight bass, but this is important to me. The bass is never front and center. Likewise, the treble is pushed back a little. Um, it's a little reserved, but not enough to lose much clarity or detail. So these are definitely headphones with a very, very mid emphasis. And I can't help but compare them to headphones that are very, very famous, that sound very much alike, the Sennheiser HD 650. Now the Sennheisers, being twice as much money, are much more precise and they're more detailed and they have superior soundstage, but the AG400 are equally as fun to listen to. And honestly, they sound pretty similar. And the HE400S are half the price, and that really is the bottom line. These are not reference quality audiophile headphones, but they are way better than 99% of headphones in this price range that are bassy, that have loose, sloppy low ends. They are really excellent headphones. They're super enjoyable to listen to, and just about everyone, I think, will love how involved and cozy they feel. At the end of the day, Look, I own thousands and thousands of dollars in headphone equipment, and I own headphones that cost eight times the price of the HE400S, but the HE400S are probably the headphones I use most. Now, why? Well, I have them on my bedside table for music and Netflix in bed, and it's because they're comfy, they're easy to drive, they're well-priced, and they sound excellent. And for $300, you really can't go wrong. 
That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like. If you thought it wasn't so great, then a dislike. Then leave a comment to let me know what I could improve on. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.